We will rebuild our cities, including Washington, D.C., making them safe, clean, and beautiful again, and especially safe because of people like that. And we will keep the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency. It's under tremendous threat. Somebody said, well, how are you going to do that? You know, one of these stupid people that ask questions. I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If a country wants to leave us and they want to not just consider us the world's currency, we have to be careful with it, too. We have to cherish it and take care of it. But it's very important. It would be like losing a war. If somebody says from a country, we're going to pull out of the reserve currency, I will say the following. That's okay. But I'm going to charge you a 200 percent tariff on all the business you do in the United States of America, and it goes into effect today. And they will look at me and they will say, sir, uh, we have decided to stay in the reserve currency, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, uh, Troy can tell you this. There are some people that say, we love Trump's policy, but we don't like Trump. And I say, no, no, I, because I actually think I'm a nice person. I, want, I just, all I want to do is save our country. Okay, that's, so. I just want to say that. And then a couple of our senators said, here's the problem. You like his policy, but his policy only works with him. Because like that, what I just told you, how many people would say to the head of a country that when Macron, nice guy, when he, Emmanuel from France, he said he's going to tax American companies at a very high rate, higher than other companies. And I said to Mnuchin and some people, don't let him do it. Go tell him you're not going to do it. And if he does it, it's going to have a problem. They went and they came back and they said, sir, we haven't been successful. I said, go do it again. And after that, I'll take it. And they did it again and they were unsuccessful. They came to me. They said, no, he's going to tax American companies. Now, this is France. They're going to tax American companies at a very high rate. Very few others, but American companies. And I said, uh, get him on the phone. I got him on the phone. Emmanuel, how are you? Oh, Donald, Donald, I am fine. Thank you so much. I said, Emmanuel, I understand that you're going to put a very big tax on American companies. Now, as your president, I have to protect American companies. I can't let that happen. And other companies and other countries aren't going to be taxed. Like hell, that's going to happen. So I said, I understand that's going to happen, Emmanuel. Yes, Donald, it is already passed by essentially their legislature. I said, no. I said, no, Emmanuel, you're not going to do that. Yes, Donald, it's too late. I'm so sorry, President. I am so sorry. I said, it's not too late. It's not too late. Because if you do that, I'm going to put a 100 percent tariff on every bottle of wine and every bottle of champagne that you send into the United States of America. 100 percent tariff. And he said, that's not fair. That's not fair. I said, listen, it's not fair that you're taxing our companies at more than other countries' companies. So to me, it's very fair. He said, uh, I told him, and I was very late. I think I was probably working on uh, one of the hoaxes or something that was, you know, keeps you busy. You know, these, the Democrat scams and hoaxes. I said, Emmanuel, I don't have time. I'm giving you five minutes to call me, if you will. Please call me back within five minutes. Let me know what, because I'm ready to sign this tax. Uh, I will call back. He called back in about two minutes. He said, Donald, I have decided that uh, we will not charge this tax on American companies. Thank you, Emmanuel, very much. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> I, did, I did so much of that. <laughs>